came in at 150 pounds. Our guy, Justin Howard, record three and seven, age 33, 5'11", reached 74 inches, and weight at 151. Bennett Howard, Island Fights, 84. Oh my God, and he's coming out to TLC Red Light Special. You gotta love that. Red Light Special. Guys, big fight feel. Howard versus Bennett. All right. Before this night started, I saw Felony Charles Bennett using the footwork. He said he wanted to be loose tonight, wanted to be free. And he's keeping it smooth already. Very efficient right now in his movement. Not a lot of uh, bouncing. Pivotal fight for tonight for Bennett. Those kicks look sharp tonight. Nice side kick. Great way to keep your opponent at bay. Disrupt the breathing. Ooh. Wow. Howard's oh. on the aggressive. Bennett lands on top, though. Justin doing a great job of, of getting creative to get inside because Felony is not just going to let him in. A fast start to this fight. And look, and, and Bennett is already. Oh, that was a big head kick. Oh, oh. Okay, let's Howard's see. on his back. He doesn't have the hooks in. Let's see if he can get, get this done. He did say he wanted to grapple early. That, that is what he talked with me about, is that he wants to grapple and he wants to grapple early. Justin Howard said, both hooks in, choke is in, is it over? Ben has been in this oh. spot multiple times. Yes, but Ben is doing such a great job right now, keeping his chin tucked right now. If you can right. see his chin is tucked, right. this is helping him prolong this position. What he needs to do though, is he needs to start twisting his hips and, and creating a little bit of an angle so that he can get that and, and pressing that elbow up so that he can get his face out of there. It might might cause a jaw break, but it's better than getting choked. He's doing a good job, though, of staying composed right Bennett now. Bennett can slide out of this Howard move. There he lose goes, his there arms. he goes. He moved his hips, and that's what he needed. He needed to find a little angle, pulling down on the hands here, fighting the hands. Three minutes left to round number one. 
Howard has a, a, a body lock, though. Bennett's out of it. He's on his side. That's the arm that he needs to choke with, is the arm that he's fishing for right now. That's the side that he needs to get. But Bennett doing a good job right now, fighting hands. He's got to address the body lock. Bennett's been in that spot a plethora of times. And he addressed it. The body lock is open. Now, if he can start shimmying his hips, right. he's got to get past the knee to get him out of this particular position and not allow for him to relock this body lock. Because, man, body locks, they don't seem like much, but they disrupt your breathing. They put a lot of pressure on your ribs. And they keep you where the opponent that's on your back wants you. Ben is trying to get into his knees, working his way up. He is just playing a very dangerous game, but he's, he's very knowledgeable and aware of where the hands are. If he can just keep twisting his hips, he'll find these little angles that will help with dealing with the, the choke. I almost think that it would be very beneficial for Howard to strike, to get, he's got the arm there. If he can just land a few yes. shots to, yes. to sink this choke in, that would help get Bennett's mind off of the hands and help him sink this choke in tighter. Because right now, he, he's got an arm around the neck, but that's not really the arm that you want for the most amount of pressure. You want right. that underhook arm. The side that you're on, you want that side arm um, choking. Of course, in right now in round number one, you're not thinking about round number two, but he's using so much energy on those arms and those hands. I would assume Howard will feel this in round two and round three. Let's hope so. Unless he's proficient in grappling, then then you know you're used to this. He hasn't really squeezed very hard. Great job wow, creating an by angle. Bennett finding the reversal. Howard's gonna fish for a, a triangle, but Felony very keen to this, keeping his hips squared here. Let's see if he can land some elbows. As long as he stays square and he tries to gain posture. That, that's what Felony needs right now is he needs to regain his posture here so that he can create some space to land some big strikes. Not leave his hands on the mat like he's doing now because that gives, that gives him an opportunity for these triangles right. and for these arm bar attempts. Oh, nice shot there. Good job getting Charles there. Bennett. Ooh. Oh. Let's see if he can get a triangle himself. Great round. Back and forth round we go. What a fun round. So Felony knows now. He knows what his opponent wants to do. His opponent is coming straight for the grappling. He found his way, Justin found his way to the back, was able to maintain control the entire round once he got to the back. So you know that he's going to come back for that. He's not going to strike on the outside. So what's the counter to Bennett? Is it a, uh, a knee? Is it an inside knee when Howard's trying to come in? What do you uh, suggest that Bennett does to counter that? Bennett is throwing these big strikes, these big looping strikes, which is giving his back away in these, in these moments where they're at range. He's got to stay tight and go straight down the pipe and keep his chest, keep his hips facing Justin Howard so that he doesn't give up his back. Because that's, that's how he gave up his back. He, right. he just threw a big punch. Round number two, Howard versus Bennett here at Island Fights 84. Bennett with the signature hands down. Closing the distance is Justin Howard here, but nice little sweep. That's a gnarly little sweep, actually. Oh, good job. Let's see how the ref deals with this, addresses this. Okay. Oh, that, okay, good. I was like, that was not the position. Okay. Now, let's see how heavy wow. these hips can be. That was the position. Yes. <laughs> Great position. <laughs> Does it get better than that in MMA? Well, Felony's got to maintain this position. This is a tough position in MMA to maintain, but he's doing a great job of great finding the legs here, keeping his hips heavy, landing big some shots big here by shots. Big shot here by Pearl. That's what he's got to do. Okay, he wants his own choke. 
Rear oh. naked Joe! Charles Felony Bennett gets Goodness. the win! He's jumping! Oh my god, Dad, look at that! Oh! oh. <laughs> Charles Bennett with the backflip! What a comeback, Dave! He found his way to a takedown, got this beautiful outside leg sweep, found a way to get on top and get a beautiful full mount, forced forced the grappler to give his back up and sunk it. Let's watch it again here. He forced him to give his back up. Didn't need two hooks to finish that. Beautiful job by Felony Charles Bennett to find this tap here. That was nasty. Great angle. Oh my God. Forced his mouthpiece out now. What a fantastic performance. He's, he said he was going to keep it smooth. He did. He did. <laughs> All right. Let's go. <laughs> oh, and then landed that, that, that backflip. What a fight. What a fun fight. Wow. What a way for Felony Charles to, to fight through adversity in that first round, deal with, a, with what seemed to be the better grappler, find his opportunity, and get the finish. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Larry Folsom steps in and goes to hold this belt. 57 seconds into round number two. Declaring your winner by submission due to a rear naked choke, felony Charles Bennett. My man. I'm here with the winner, Felony Charles Bennett. I like to thank nobody but my motherfucking self. I went to the gym every day of the week for four weeks. Fuck this shit, man. They know how to pound it. My man, you get the submission. The second round was that kind of the game plan to throw for the grapple and back and forth. Win. Set it up, nigga. I'll beat you like I beat you, boy. Yeah. I'll beat you like I beat you. Oh, bullshit. Get out of here. That was just for being a sport. I'll beat the hell out of you, boy. I'll beat the hell out of you, youngster. I don't know what he's talking about. I won. Fuck him. I'm looking for some hair down there. I'm going to put the hair off and so where's the hair down there? Hey, fuck you guys. Let's try it again next month. You're right. I'll be even better. Guys, our winner, Felony Charles Bennett. What an impeccable performance here. Charles Bennett fought through so much adversity in this first round, had to deal with Submission attempt after submission attempt. But he got past the guard here. As you can see, land and landed some big shots. However, that was not the end of this round. He found his way on top in the second round, landed some big shots, closed the show with a rear naked choke of his own tonight.